good morning it's about 7 25 beautiful morning a bit pissed off <laughs> I took you more wasps outside than inside I had to seal up the top a bit uh, when the wasp broke up they decided to go through a little crack in the top plate so um, there's still a few in there um, I'm just gonna piss them off at the moment and give them a couple of taps and uh, get the jumper leads uh, connected they're hanging in the tree at the moment and I've got uh, accumulators here, that was a good workout, they were bloody heavy. So yeah, um, be with me and uh, we'll see what's going to happen shortly. I'm going to attempt to get these jumper leads on without getting stung. It's going to be dangerous. These wasps are bloody. I need to get some gloves. a bit more at the bottom, got the boom here. Okay, let's start the process and see what happens. Bad contacts here. Two of us are smoking, but I'm not sure if we get any action here or not. I don't see any power getting in there yet. Fuck. Well, I didn't foresee the issue. I nearly burned the post of the battery terminal. We have another shot at it. Guessing is working. I may do pulsation. Oh fuck, that's good. Oh, they're burnt out already, gone. Let me with the others. Oh, fireworks. I'll de energize. I don't want to burn my cylinder. Let the gas work. Oh, cool. Different top. Oh fuck. The cylinder has cracked. A bit of heat in there, wow. as exciting as I was hoping for. I was hoping it was going to be contained. Uh, let's have an analysis. One heater is still in there, the other ones have all burned out. I'm sure there will be some boss carnage. I'll leave the 24 volts on. Just got a side view, here's a crack, the cylinder is burst. There's a pressure build up I think. Um, yeah. Some wasps analyzing the situation. Oh, oh, hoses exploded. I need to take this thing apart carefully and then, uh, yeah, one element is hanging in there. Oh, it's gone open circuit now. Okay, I'm going to de-energize the device. I've got the batteries here. I had the copper bar on here to avoid the arc. I'm still having a bit of uh, stuff on there. Uh, I'll do a quick volt reading too, just see what I... I should have done a load reading, but... I nearly melted that terminal off in the process. Uh, what's the volts at the moment? 
25.2 volts, so the batteries. And the bolts on charger overnight, so they have 150 ampere hours. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna take the jumpers off. Five kilowatt of heat does uh, probably cause a bit of process damage. Now I'm going to take a big risk. I'm going to pull this whole thing out and jump down this one. There we go. Galvanized PVC pipe. Let's look at the carnage here. The heating elements have all gone about one. And now we have a look in. Clean dynamic camera. This is always dangerous. Here is the wasp pipe sitting on top of the nest. A lot of people asking me uh, how do I get the wasps here, but the wasps, these wasps make an underground nest and I install the device at night. So you can see the carnage here too. I'll just zoom out a bit. That is split because of the heat expansion, I think. I'm just going to analyze the footage and I'm going to put this on the line as I promised. Uh, we have a quick close up at uh, heating elements. Stand by. Well, a bit of carnage. The heaters de galvanized themselves. This one element seemed to be hanging in there still. Yeah, that's still on intact. Copper bars have a nice coating on them. And. Um, in the design floor, uh, on your lead-in bars, anybody who does heating, high power heating, you need to put copper wire around the ends, otherwise you get hot spots and the heaters will melt themselves clear. Okay, time to pack up the lifting exercise, get these accumulators back inside and uh, put the radio on the tube. Have a great day guys and girls. This was Rodalco 2007.